Hey, let me ask you something. Have you been in the project, IT consulting project, software development project, where the project manager, the person who is leading the project was saying yes all the time, yes, 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 to every request, no matter how crazy the request by the customer. Yeah. So let me tell you why. This is a very interesting phenomenon that happens. And it happens more often than you would think. And the more experience you have in this industry, the, more, the bigger the chances that you've seen it in action. It makes people question, and rightly so, why are we paying this project management thing here on this proposal? What's the value? Because I want a product. And for that software product to be built, I need software developers. That's like, <laughs> that's obvious, okay? I need software developers to build a software product. Why do I need project managers? So the theory goes that you need project managers to, if you need, if you want a turnkey project, you want a project manager because the project manager will help you, guide you through the risks that will happen throughout the project. It will help you close and solve some major issues that will happen along the way. It will be, he will, he or she will uh, create a plan to deliver the project just as you want and deliver it on time and on budget. So you have paid for something, okay? And you have certainty that by the end of that project, you will have it. That's why you need project managers. Now, if you're a client and in the middle of the project and as you experience and as you're using these early versions of the project, if you happen to say, hey, oh my God, now that I'm using this, actually, I thought that it will be, you know, something completely different. Now that I'm seeing this, now that I'm using this, I actually need this, 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 and that changed. Okay, and by the way, this, you know, made me think about this new ideas of how cool it would be if we actually made like this um, five new features, because then it would be a killer project. Like if we could do this in the same timeline, if we just do it and we just launch this by the same date with these new features and this change, it would be great. And if you ask this, and if the immediate answer is yes, great idea, let's do this, without even checking if it's possible, then you know that you're paying for project management, that it's not really happening, okay? So for the consulting company who's doing this, if you're doing this, I have an idea for you that will bring your proposals to a level that will hopefully, hopefully make you even win more projects. And it will win more projects because you're going to sell the same thing for lower price without changing anything. Just one thing. Just get rid of the project manager because that, that thing, project management, is not happening in the project. So. Just don't charge the customer. Why are you charging the customer for something that you're not doing? Because saying yes, and by the way, if, you talk, if you've seen this happen in the real world, and if you take the opportunity and ask this person, hey, why are you doing this? Why are you saying, why are you saying yes without even checking if it's possible or not? Most common answer that I've seen in my experience is, hey, I'm saying yes because of the relationship. I mean, I don't want to make them mad. By saying no, oh my God, if I, if I would say no, then I would have a problem because the relationship would just collapse, would break. The irony of this thing is that by actually saying yes without even checking and just hope for a miracle crossing your fingers or you're a genius and you've made this exercise in your mind where, okay, these new features, this is this extra effort and if I bring you new people in by this time and this happens, then the, the plan will actually work out and we can still launch by the same date. Oh my God. So yeah, let's do this. Unless you've done this thing out in your mind, um, then 
saying yes will actually hurt your relationship because guess what? It won't work. So solving this short-term problem that is, oh my God, the customer is changing the scope, is changing the request, oh my God, and he's saying that the date cannot change, the deadline, blah, blah, blah. You're, you're solving this problem by saying yes, you're just delaying the problem. The real problem is you don't have the right training to handle this situation. So the better approach would be great idea, I understand, or if you don't, hey sir, help me understand why exactly you need this all things into this release. Like we're launching 1.0. In one month, you will have exactly what you asked me three months ago, and you will have it. It will be launched on time, on budget, without you having to spend any extra dollar. It will be live. And guess what? I will be with you and my team will be with you. And we can still work together on release 2.0. And on release 2.0, these great ideas that you just shared with me, we can work on them. By bringing my analysis team and my functional design team and my user experience team together with you and your key people on your team, on the business team, on the IT team, everybody together on the workshop, let's figure it out how these ideas can work in the real world. So now I can go back with all that work done together and then we can send you a proposal on actually implementing that, I, those ideas on version 2.0. Of course, with a plan that will allow you and enable you to understand exactly when 2.0 will be launched. Is, does this sound fair to you? Because if I would say, yeah, this will, can work on, on this timeline without having done this work with you, I would, I would just do a, a disservice to you. I would be lying to you. Because we need to do this work. Would you agree? I say, yeah, man, I, I, I mean, I, I agree, but can we do this work? Can we, you know, dig deeper into these ideas and see if they still work out on 1.0? Of course we can. So let's just, okay, I will send you a proposal on just doing the analysis, the design analysis of those ideas. And we, because we will need to do this work anyway. So we will send this proposal. We will do this analysis. And with that analysis, by the end of it, we can just see if it can work out still on this release. But I, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not seeing how this can happen in one month. But let's do the work. I mean, at least we will need for, for what I'm hearing, let's schedule a call with my lead functional and analyst. But from my, from, from my experience, we would never take less than one to two weeks to analyze this together with you. So that leaves us two weeks to build tests and you guys to do the user acceptance testing. So I'm not really how we're gonna do this, but if you really insist in trying to do this for 1.0, which I advise you not to do this, um, well, let's, let's do this. I will send you a proposal for design and then we will figure out when the actual software development is gonna be built and test and how much time you need to do your own testing. Does this sound fair? So this is a different approach and just saying, yeah, yeah, great idea, let's do this, and then and just launch a piece of crap. So, uh, to sum this up, this just as a summary of this video, if you care about your customer, if you care about that relationship, do the work. Don't just say yes, do the work, explain the impact, explain what needs to happen, when it needs to happen, explain the changes, explain if you need extra money, if you need extra effort, if you need extra time, explain why. Give them options, give them alternative plans. Hey, why not postpone this? Is this really necessary? No, try to explain me, I'm a smart guy, try to explain me why we need this right now. In one month, in one week, you will have exactly what you asked. Without these changes, we can always do these changes later. No, no, but we really need... But why? Because this. Okay. And if we don't, what happens? Is that really a problem? Could you survive another month without this stuff? These are all valid questions that you can ask. And maybe... Sometimes your customer will say, hey, you know what, now that I'm talking with you, now that I'm thinking together with you, 
you're right, we can do this on 2.0. It's, it's, you know, it's the best thing to do because it will have less risk. We will need to test this anyway. Let's see how 1.0 goes and how, let's see the user adoptance of this stuff. Let's see the results and then we, will, can, and then we can invest on 2.0. Whatever you do, man, just you know do the work don't just say yes don't just do the easy thing because you're not hired to do the easy thing you're hired to do the right thing that's just my my approach on this hope that you guys are doing well hope that you guys are committed to your customer success and hope that you guys are committed to do the work no matter how hard it is and no matter no matter what the client will react or respond you you are a professional, you're hired to deliver a service, a result, and you should know how to handle those situations before they, ha they happen. But that will only happen with the right training. So get yourself trained. Skill up.